So Mango family, before we get into today's video, I just want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. Um, wishing many blessings, good health, good fortune, uh, family, love, respect, um, just overwhelming amounts of joy. Um, I wish that all for you guys in the year of 2024. So 2023 was filled with a lot of highs, uh, challenges, um, um, milestones, um, and, and ultimately just um, a lot of thankfulness and a lot of gratefulness um, to come out of 2023 and now we're in 2024. So just wanted to shoot this little intro before we get into the weekly rotation. Happy New Year. Have a blessed 2024. Super excited to see what the year has for us. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Splat. YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, she got one more time, Nigel Alex Jr. And we are back with another fragrance video, all right? So we are here for the weekly rotation, all right? Weekly rotation video covering every fragrance that I wore during the week of December 24th, all right? Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Day, leading up through New Year's Eve. We had some, we got some bangers, man. We got some bangers, man. Real um, solid lineup, if I do say so myself. But smell good family, hope everyone is well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock here on this channel. Y'all know how we give it up, man. Hopefully everyone, everyone is truly doing well, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into uh, Christmas Eve, all right? Christmas Eve, man, I love this stuff, man. It, I go back and forth for if this is my favorite from the line or not. The whole line is great. I love it. And um, it was real good to get acquainted with this on Christmas Eve once again from the house of Hugo Boss. We went with Hugo Boss, the scent, absolute. Absolute. The thing about this, the scent line, is that a lot of them are getting harder and harder um, to find. Private Accord is discontinued. I believe this one is discontinued. They don't stick around for long, all right? But with this one, you get a nice, beautiful, uh, you get the Manika fruit, you get like a slight spice to it, I believe from a ginger note. There's a, a cacao-ish, chocolatey feel to it as well. Um, this is rich, it's smooth, um, and for designer fragrance, man, it's definitely, um, it, it's definitely different. It has a unique feel to it just due to really what that Manika fruit brings to the table. Really love this stuff, really great performer. Cooler, windy, rainier day on Christmas Eve. And um, I'm glad that this was my scent of the day. Good stuff here on Christmas Eve, Sunday, from the house of Hugo Boss. We went with Hugo Boss, the scent, absolute. Absolute, good stuff, man. Really enjoy this one, all right? Moving along to Christmas Day, December 25th. And the weather down here was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Rainy, windy, and cold, all right? Well, not cold, but cool. It was a cool temp, rain and wind. But this was my scent of the day on Christmas Day, and usually I'm finding out that I'm wearing a lot of rolls and vetiver when it's really rainy and windy and nasty out. And this was my scent of the day, and it was perfect. From the house of Zaharoff on Christmas Day, we wore the Signature Rosé. Signature Rosé on Christmas Day. The best rose fragrance, fragrance in my collection. Beautiful rose, incense, sugary, spicy. Um, just a date. They, they was on one. <laughs> they was on one that day when this scent was created. And I love it, man. With me being a huge fan of rose, maybe a little bit biased to the, the note of rose, but this is well done. The best freight rose fragrance that I have in my collection um, currently and um, this stuff is awesome, man. On Christmas Day, got complimented from my mom, my wife, uh, my sister. Um, so yeah, this is a real good one on Christmas Day from the house of Zaharoff. We want the signature Rose. Rose on Christmas 2023. All right, moving along to Tuesday. Tuesday and the rest of the week, I um, earned some really good um, time off. 
And I was doing a lot of chilling this week, man. A lot of chilling this week. And then on Tuesday, I really didn't do much of anything. Went out the house one time, ran a couple areas, and got back to the crib and just kind of relaxed, watched some football. And um, this was my center of the day. Didn't want to think about it. Just want to smell clean. And this provides this, the 2023 MVP, baby. If you watch the Smell Good Family Awards, you know what I'm talking about. On Tuesday, Dior Ohm 2020. Dior Ohm 2020. Look at that dent in that bottle, man. This stuff is going fast out of this bottle. Like I said, didn't want to think about it. Citrus, spicy, musky, clean, fresh. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all. I love it, man. I wore throughout the day, enjoyed how I smelled. And it was just something where I just didn't want to think about anything. So I pulled this out because I knew it would just work on Tuesday from the house of Dior. Dior on 2020. Dior own 2020. All right. Moving along to Wednesday. Had to move around a little bit on Wednesday. Um, and weather was really uh, getting cooler by the day. Uh, we got some massive cold weather. We're going to talk about what I wore, obviously, throughout the rest of the week. But the, uh, this day was really, really cool. It was a nice day. The sun had came out. Um, and I moved around a little bit. And um, I really enjoy wearing this fragrance, man, for sure. It's a really good one. From the house of Coach. We went with Coach Platinum. Coach Platinum on Wednesday. Um, fresh and sweet with the vanilla. You can tell that there's an umbroxan fizziness to this thing. Um, there's some elements that remind me of like Dior, um, Dior Sauvage uh, with this fragrance because uh, with how the umbroxan plays on my skin. But the vanilla, the fruitiness, the sweetness um, is fresh. It's clean. Um, it just really worked out for me on um, Wednesday. I got a compliment um, at Tropical Smoothie. I stopped by there and got me uh, a smoothie. And uh, the lady at the register told me that I smelled nice. All right. So and I had just sprayed this on as well. So the projection was really uh, fresh. And um, I really enjoyed this one. Man, I go back and forth. The original and this one, man, they kind of go toe to toe. The which one is my favorite. But I really do enjoy both. But this is my scent on Wednesday from the House of Coach. We want Coach Platinum. Coach Platinum. All right. Moving along to Thursday, boy, was it chilly? It was chilly and it was breezy, and um, it, it the weather in Jacksonville, man, is truly like this. It's truly like this, man. So the cold was coming through. I was itching to wear this fragrance. This is a uh, this was a Christmas gift to myself this year. I took my son and his friends to the movies. Man, just kind of rode around throughout the day, hanging out with them, taking care of some things. And this was my sin of the day from the house of Argos. We were the triumph of, triumph of Bacchus. Finally, a, uh, just finally happy to have a full bottle of this in my collection. Truly blown away from the first time I experienced this early in 2023. And I told myself before 2023 was over with, I was going to have me a full bottle of Triumph of Bacchus, and I'm happy to report that I do. Wore this on Thursday, as soon as I sprayed it, getting ready to walk out the door, my wife was like, whoa, you smell really great. <laughs> you smell really gay, great. Going into the, um, walking into the movie theater, it didn't spray too many sprays, I knew I was gonna be indoors, um, but it didn't matter, this stuff just works, it just performs. Walked into the movie theater, the, the lady at the uh, concession stand, Gave me a compliment as well. Um, beautiful tobacco and white peach, the fruitiness, the spiciness, so well done, very smooth and balanced. Um, like it's just, they, whatever they got going on over there Argo Argos with their creations of their fragrances and their craftsmanship of their bottles, this is A1 quality, man. This is A1 quality and I'm happy to have this bottle on Thursday, really great performer. I enjoyed how I smelled throughout the day. Experiences was, experience was great. And look forward to spending more time with Triumph of Bacchus for sure. This stuff was great on Thursday from the house of Argos. We're going to Triumph of Bacchus. Great stuff. Glad to have a full bottle. Finally. All right. Um, moving along to Friday. Friday, it was cold. It was cold. I had to get up very early Friday morning. I did some running around. You know, just moving around all day long on Friday for sure. And I've been wanting to wear this. I have been wanting to just experience the DNA 
and I'm starting to love this the most as far as what it's cloned after. On Friday, from the house of Mason Alhambra, we have Kismet for Men. Kismet for Men. Now, to me and to my nose, this is the best clone inspired by fragrance of YSL's Tuxedo. It just is. The patchouli shines in here, man. The patchouli shines in here. I've, I have a decan of Tuxedo and I've compared them side by side. Uh, Moustache by the Rojas is, is it's definitely in the ballpark. The rolls and the benzoin in it really kind of allows it to do its own thing, but the DNA is present. But this right here, in my opinion, it's spot on, man. It, it's spot on. Now, the quality in the YSL Tuxedo is, is of course, it's better. Um, it probably has a little bit more depth to it, but it's minimal. It's minimum. And I've had this bottle for a year, no, almost two years, year and a half. Year and a half I've had this bottle. And it starts to really macerate beautifully. It has changed since I got it. The way it performs, the way it projects, I can tell it's a little bit more bolder. And that's what these Middle Eastern fragrances do. And I highly recommend you guys, if you get a Middle Eastern and you wear it, let it macerate. Don't come to a conclusion because some of them they need to. And I think this is one of them. I'm really happy to what it turned out to be. This stuff was awesome. It lasts on me all day Friday. I also received two compliments. Um, one at the barbershop when I went to get my beard taped up. And then later on in the day uh, when I was moving around in Target and getting some things for the family. And um, yeah, and I was you know, very early in the morning Friday till later in the afternoon on Friday. And um, this, was, this was it. So this is my fragrance on Friday. I really enjoyed this stuff. Um, YSL Tuxedo uh, clone inspired by they did a good job Mason Alhambra's Kismet for men on Friday on Friday and on Saturday to wrap up the week really great day for myself and my family my brother who's in the military um, in the Navy he had been gone away um, him um, his wife my nephews um, they have been in Japan for three years they finally came home um, a few weeks ago, finally back on U.S. soil, they came into Jacksonville and we had a great time just, you know, hanging out, man. You know, hanging out, me and my brother watched the Cowboys game, Cowboys and Lions game, which almost took me out of here. Um, and just vibing out with my nephews and my sister-in-law and, you know, seeing my mom get to be around all her grandkids at once. It was a great day, but it was a cold day. We were in the 30s when we woke up. And when we went to bed, it was still in the 30s. I think that it didn't get out of the, I think it got high, the high was 57 degrees on Saturday. So down here in Jacksonville, that's cold. I don't care what none of you up north and Midwestern folks got going on, but it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. But this was my center of the day on Saturday to close out the week from the house of Michael Malone, London. London, we were Jet Black Platinum. Man, this is a true gem in my collection, man. Shout out to my guy, Cedric Farr. Our friendship was almost over because I didn't know about this fragrance and he had it. <laughs> Beautiful cinnamon spice and sweetness. There's a praline note in here, cinnamon in here. Uh, like I said, there's some spice, a cardamom in here. Man, this stuff is good. Puts you in the mindset of the Strong With You DNA, but spicier, all right? So a little bit more spicier. The praline sweetness is kind of similar within the two, kind of, um, um, yeah, it kind of like, you know, you get more sweet and fresh with the original um, Stronger With You, but then when you come across something like this, it's a little bit more spicier with the cardamom and the cinnamon. Um, it's really propelling it, man, and it's really, really good. Great performer. Um, oh, it just was great, man. So just to smell this in the environment, you know, the Christmas tree and all that still up, and, you know, we eating all a whole bunch of bad foods and just chilling and laughing and you know, just kicking it, man. Real good family vibes. I really enjoyed it. And um, this was my fragrance of the day, man. Just kind of kicking it, man, with the family on Saturday from the house of Michael Malone, London. We were the Jet Black Platinum. Such a gem in my collection, man. I really, really enjoyed this stuff for sure. All right. All right, Smell Good family. So that was my rotation. That was my weekly rotation for the week of December 24th. And uh, I, if I must say so, must say. If I must say so myself. A pretty good lineup, but that's not important anymore. What was your lineup? What did you guys wear? What did you guys experience? What did you guys love? What did you guys wear new for the first time? Let me know down below in the comments. Y'all know this is my favorite video of the week. All right, so until next time, smell good family. Y'all know what it is. Y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. And remember, remember. 
what you put out into this world, you specifically watching, what you put out into this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That is a fact, scientifically proven. I have the paperwork, but I really don't, but it's a fact. Y'all be cool and keep on spacking. Sp